Hey, what's up guys? Don't go anywhere. I have a lot of cool stuff I want to share with you guys in this video. I found something on the, the Soho Lasco C3 instrument that just appeared within the last 24 hours. And with all the comets in the solar system, especially Comet Atlas that's over in the, the vicinity of the sun, this was highly coincidental. I'm going to share that finding with you guys here in just a moment. But first, you're looking at a, a photo from last night, less than 24 hours ago. Here's one of the green comets that's inside the orbit of Mars. This is Comet Lemon, visible from Arizona. Photo taken by Jeremy Perez. Great job, Jeremy. What a fantastic photo taken from right out here in Arizona. This is what you can see in the north northwestern sky just after sunset. Step outside tonight if it's if it's not cloudy in your location, and you should be able to see Comet Atlas. I want to take you guys now up to the, the Soho Lasco C3. This is a spacecraft that monitors the sun, has been since 1998. And what you're about to see, this anomaly that I found, just appeared in the last 24 hours. Keep in mind, Comet Atlas is up in this vicinity, moving across the screen. We can't see it from this spacecraft right now, but it's moving in this vicinity from left to right. You're looking at a, a collection of videos from October 13th, October 14th, October 15th, and then when we get into the 16th, you're going to see something appear in the field of view in the vicinity of Atlas. The reason I'm showing you guys this footage from the, the 13th and 14th, I'm showing you guys that, that this looks perfectly normal. There's nothing here that shouldn't be. You can see some CME activity following some pretty decent solar flares. You can see background stars. Everything on here looks normal. This is what we see on here pretty much on a, on a daily basis. What we're going to see is going to appear here and you're going to see something down here as if they're they're maybe traveling with Atlas, maybe they're monitoring Atlas, but as you can see right now, there's nothing there, right? Background stars, CME, solar flares. Okay, here they come, right there. You're gonna see some black objects appear in the field of view there and there. We're gonna focus on the ones up here at the top first. See them right here? They're in the shape of a triangle. There's at least three black objects right there that are normally not there. See them? I've kind of adjusted the format just a little bit. There's one right there, plain as day. It's almost as if it's monitoring, and then that appeared in the, in the middle of the black void. Look at that. Where did that thing come from? And coincidentally, it's right in the middle of the black void right there. See it? I mean, what are the odds of that happening? Something's there. There's something right there, and there's something right there that just appeared once again within the last 24 to 36 hours. You just saw a flash right there, exactly right in the middle of that black void. There it is again. I paused it. What in the world is going on? And remember, Atlas is right over there in that vicinity, and then there's three more down here at the bottom. Check it out. Here they are, right in this area here. I circled them in the still image. We're going to go back to the video format, and there they are. I know they're a little more difficult to see than the ones up at the top, but there's one there, one there, and one there. So six objects have appeared on, on the Soho Lasco C3. I put this in fast forward because you can actually see them a little better. I put together four clips, and there they are. See the black objects just kind of sitting there, not necessarily meant to be seen, but they're just dark enough that they, they do show up, whatever they may be. And it's kind of odd that they showed up about the time Comet Atlas is cruising through that part of the solar system. Not only Comet Atlas, but we have Lemon over here by the Earth. We have Comet Swan over here by the Earth. We also have another comet, Comet Atlas, that's departing the solar system. Right here it is. Here's a look at it when it was visible from the Earth. This is another Comet Atlas. has a long tail. This was visible last year in October. This is C2023 A3 Atlas. There it is right there exiting the solar system. So just in the last year and a half, there has been a, an exponential increase in comet activity in the solar system, unlike anything we've ever seen before. Speaking of things that we've never seen before, this is an unedited photo that I received out of Germany, sent in by, by Detlef. Get a load of that purple sky. 
unbelievable. This was following a series of storms over in Germany, and that's what the sky looked like following the storms. Wanted to share with you guys a, a photo that was sent in here recently. This photo was taken, obviously, from probably the, the 20th floor of a hotel. You can see it's looking out over this city. You can see a river over here on the left and the, the beautiful orange sky. That's why they, they took the photo in the first place. And they sent this photo in. I put the arrow on the photo, by the way, with what appears to be some sort of a, a yellow circle right in the middle of the photo that's not in the sky whenever you see something like that uh, an image of the sky taken from a, a hotel room especially up on the 10th 11th 12th like in this case here probably the 15th or 20th floor and it's at nighttime or getting close to nighttime that is a light behind the viewer that's reflecting off of the window that they're standing behind when they took this photo this happens every single time a photo is taken from behind a window in a hotel so this once again is an example of a light reflection from inside of a hotel going from light reflections to supercharged lightning check this out video footage sent in by Curtis out of Oracle Arizona unbelievably supercharged skies the lightning just kept coming look at this here it looks like a big arrow up in the sky and lightning emanating from the arrow Cloud to ground lightning clearly making contact with the ground, probably those houses over there in that in that neighborhood, an abundance of lightning above Oracle, Arizona. Coming over here to the homepage of the website, the, the CMEs that we were anticipating did not arrive. They they missed the earth, believe it or not. And there was a, a series of three CMEs headed towards the Earth, and that happens sometimes. Sometimes they just completely fizzle out. Sometimes they go above the Earth, around the Earth. We're looking at the planetary K index. You can see it has been very, very quiet the last 24 hours, not showing any type of geomagnetic storm activity. Looking at the GOES X-ray flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, still showing an increase in M-class solar flares over the last 24 hours as the, the Earth-facing side of the Sun has been very active. And speaking of active, we have yet another Another coronal hole facing the Earth. This one's slightly above the equator, though, as this energy, too, has a, a decent chance of missing the Earth. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. Look for this red tab that says, have a large video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your videos into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.